Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to integrate x sine squared of x. For this integration, the tools we are going to use are half angle identity for sine squared of x and integration by parts formula. Let's start. Our first step is to substitute sine squared of x with our half angle identity, which is going to be 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 2x. Here we can pull our constant to the front and we can distribute x inside of the parentheses, which we are going to get x times 1 and x cosine of 2x. At this step, we can separate this integral into two separate integrals. So 1 half x dx minus 1 half x cosine of 2x dx. 1 half is distributed to both integrals. At this step, we are going to apply integration by parts formula. For this, we have to define our u and dv. In this integral, our u is x and our dv is cosine of 2x. If u is x, what is du? What is the derivative of du? 1 dx or just dx. If dv is cosine 2x dx, what is the antiderivative of cosine of 2x? It is 1 half sine of 2x. So we are differentiating our u, integrating our dv. Now we can apply integration by parts formula. So negative 1 half in front. Let me, let me box this part and this part separately. And we're going to connect it in the bottom here. So negative 1 half distributed to we're going to apply integration by parts formula, which is going to be u times v. What is u times v? x times 1 half sine of 2x, which we can write as 1 half x sine of 2x minus integral of v du. What is v? 1 half sine of 2x, which we can pull constant to the front, sine of 2x. What is du? dx. Okay, at this point we can distribute 1 half to both terms and we're going to integrate this part. So let's rewrite here this part. 1 half x sine of 2x minus 1 half. What is the antiderivative of sine of 2x? Antiderivative of sine of 2x is negative 1 half cosine of 2x. And we have plus c outside. If you differentiate negative 1 half cosine of 2x, you're going to get sine of 2x. And if you if we bring our first integral here. 1 half times, what is the antiderivative of x? 1 half x squared. And if we clean this up, it's going to be 1 fourth x squared. Minus, now we're going to connect. We're going to connect first and second integral here. We will continue here. So it's going to be 1 fourth x squared minus 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. Let's open up here. x sine of 2x minus 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eighth. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. So we're going to get negative 1 8 
times cosine of 2x plus c. This is the final answer. You can box it. If you would like to condense this expression, you can combine it at the LCD8, which you're going to get negative 2x sine of 2x minus x plus cosine of 2x all over 8. So you can either combine it or leave it like that. Either is correct answer. Thank you for watching this video.